I got this Hutu TripMate Nano from eBay a little while ago, and I put OpenWRT on it. Unfortunately, I forgot the password, and um, not knowing any better, I decided to crack it open and do a password recovery with a serial port that's supposedly on the bottom side of the PCB. Getting the the box open was not really easy, and uh, I lost a couple of clips on the way, but eventually got it out. Now, my friend Roman brought me some of these clips uh, just last night. Uh, thanks, Roman. Um, they should make nice contacts for the um, uh, for the serial port. So all I've got to do is make up a wire harness to connect to, and I won't bore you with that, but I'll just fast forward that. Now with that wire harness ready, I can connect to the uh, serial port on the PCB. And connecting the PCB to the USB to serial converter, it's got to be 3.3 volt levels. It's got that noted on the board as well. We do the usual connection with the ground pin of the board to the ground pin of the converter and the transmit pin of the board to the receive pin of the converter. And I always get that wrong, so I had to change things around a bit. Now, with that out of the way, we can plug in the USB to serial converter, and it'll show up as a COM port on the PC. Now I use putty for that, and my con uh, converter comes up as COM4, which I'm quite comfortable with. Speed is 57600, and powering up the PUTU, I should see something on the zero console. We just let those five seconds go by, and it starts off the Linux kernel. That takes quite a little while, and we should see a message that we can activate the console by hitting uh, the Enter key in a little while. It should come up any moment now. Yeah, here we go. So I hit Enter, and I get the, um, the console uh, without a login prompt. So typing passwd will allow me to change the password for root. And don't let yourself be distracted by the messages that come up. Uh, there's still services starting up in the background. So next thing I need to know is uh, which address it's on on my local network here. There's no IP root 2 packet on it, so I'll do it the old way. If config minus A. That'll list all the interfaces, and if I scroll up to the bridge interface, I should find the actual address it has. Yep, yeah, it's right up here. So I can use a browser on my PC and connect to that address and try the newly set password. Yep, here we go. We got a three minute uptime on the thing and get in without any problems. So I won't bore you with the reassembly of the thing. It all just took like 15 minutes or so to, to get it all done. So it's really a pretty painless and safe process. Okay, see if it still works. Yeah, let's come on. Shouldn't be a problem. Thanks. Bye.